Um, she's had three marriages. She's been poisoned. She's suffered amnesia. You can hardly blame her. And even attempted a stint as a fortune teller. Wow. It is fair to say that Home and Away's Marilyn has had a very colourful life. Yes, very colourful. Uh, playing her, of course, is no problem for soap pro Emily Simmons, who hasn't just had roles in the Aussie hit, but here at home as Emma, Emma Dale fan favourite Louise Appleton too. So we're going to pop over to Summer Bay, which is hugely exciting very soon indeed. Before all that, here's a little look at the chaos Marilyn's about to walk into now. It's awful stuff. Ah, it's all kicking off. There was another little mishap earlier this morning. When, when you say mishap? Well, I kind of rented a kayak to a man when I wasn't supposed to because it had a little tiny hole in the hull and I was supposed to get it fixed before I rented it again. But you didn't? No, I didn't. So luckily he was a strong swimmer and he managed to bring it back. So, um, I think you're right, Irene. I, I don't think I can do this by myself. Right, sit down. What are we doing? We are going to put our heads together and write an advertisement for a handyman. Can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Plot thickens. So I say, Emily Simmons, who plays Home and Away Marilyn, is, joins us now from the diner in Summer Bay. Hi, Emily. Hi, How are Emily. You? Oh, you're actually Emily. there. There has been such excitement in the building today. Our production team, That's everyone's it? like, we are, we're going live from the diner, and there's a burger phone. <laughs> <laughs> that is so so exciting. Oh, there are gasps in the studio. At yes, the, the, the oh. gallery are all going, wow, it's a burger, the burger phone. phone that we are currently using. So there we are. Everyone loves the photo with the burger phone. So I'll just leave that there. There we go. I can I I make sure that stays in shot. Is the diner a real di <laughs> Like, is it a diner? Is it a set? Is it both? It's a what set, it? yes. It's a set, but it's a permanent set. So this one never gets um, shut down at night. All the other ones go up and down all the time. But this one's always in. Um, so we've got the kitchen and the little back room, which is also called my office. And um, yeah, it's it's lovely. So we've actually finished for the night, and we're just we're just here to say hi to you guys because oh, you're very kind. Uh, you're very yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, thank you for that. You're you're staying up late for us. We appreciate that. Let's talk a little bit about the storyline as is at the minute because uh, Marilyn's storyline currently sees that she's taken over Alf's business, but she's got overwhelmed quite quickly. Is that right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, so the fear of not supporting Mr. Stewart properly and doing it all wrong, and so she does it all wrong and um, is absolutely hopeless at it. So Irene puts an ad up for a handyman, which is answered by Tex. And that is how we have the lovely Tex coming into the show. And then Marilyn becomes Marilyn drunk with power. <laughs> 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 Uh, she's a great character. You must love playing her, do you? Thank you? Oh, yes, lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's, you know, some, sometimes it's challenging, you know, when I get, um, what was it called? Organophosphate poisoning. That was bad. But, oh, um, yeah. you know, oh, most, one of the worst that. I mean, you have, so you've been playing Marilyn for 33 years, which is quite something. And, and, <laughs> and as we've said, she's had a real colourful life. I have got something that I'm really excited to, to play now because we've got a clip of your first ever episode. So the moment uh, that we saw you in Home and Away for the very first time. Let's have a little look at it. G'day, Mrs. F, Robbie. Lucky to meet my new girlfriend, Marilyn. Hi. Uh, we'll have a couple of them, thanks, Bob. Oh, oh, those <laughs> curls. Oh, those curls. That was from 1989. That was, that was not a poem. Yeah, that was... Uh... Well, the 80s were cruel to many people, particularly me. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's like, thank you for reminding me of that. Thank you very much. Um, do you know, I, this might be a bit naughty. Me. Like, I know Neighbours is finished up. And I know everyone at Home and Away has to go, it's terrible, we love Neighbours. <laughs> yeah, you must be like, hey, <laughs> it's all yours no. now. <laughs> no, no, not at all. No, we're all very sad for our colleagues and our friends. Um, in Melbourne, and um, and wasn't the finale the most beautiful episode you've ever seen? I mean, it was so emotional and wonderful to see all the old characters yeah. come back. It was really yeah, special. Yeah, of course they did. They did it so so well. It was good, but it's funny, isn't it? Because I, I don't know, but you'd often have a neighbours in a home and away household, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, uh, it, it can be yeah. like that here, right? It's it's kind of like you're an EastEnders or you're a Corrie. Yeah. That was like, when I was growing up, it'd be always be a fight for the TV. But now everybody is a home and away household. <laughs> yes. 
Absolutely, you know. absolutely that. <laughs> uh, and, and the show, as we know, is iconic. Like you said, it's, it, it's taken up so much of your life. You're so lucky to have worked on a show like that for so long. Um, Ed Sheeran made a cameo in 2015. Yes, he did, which was very exciting. Um, and he played Marilyn's, oh my God, there we are, see. Yes, that was boiling hot that day. And I was pregnant with my, my son, Henry. And um, he was playing Marilyn's old, um, what was it? I was, Marilyn was his nanny. And she didn't know that he'd become famous. So she was just, he was just the little, little, little boy called Teddy. And then he came in and she was saying, oh, my Teddy's coming back. And everyone was going, oh my God, it's Ed Sheeran. So she didn't really understand what was, what was happening. <laughs> um, but Ed was so charming and delightful. And when he came in here, he said, oh, do you mind if I pick you up and swing you around a bit? And I went, oh, my God, I weigh a ton. I was so pregnant. I was like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> and he did it. I was horrified. Um, but he was just delightful and so kind and um, very generous with his time. Aww. And we got a little private concert. And now, of course, my son Henry says that he has met Ed Sheeran because he was in my tummy on that day. Oh. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's got a point. He's got a point. He was there. He was there. He was hey, there. I've, met, I've met Rochelle yeah. from the Saturdays. I'm having a good day. <laughs> we, can, we, we can't use that. No. You can't use that, definitely not. Um, obviously, we've seen you over, over here, as we mentioned earlier, in Emmerdale, but also on Dancing on Ice. Which, yes. which, yes. which we love. How, how was that for you? Because that, that I always think it's such a brave thing to do. I think mm. out of all of the shows, obviously we see like the Strictly Come Dancing, you know, the, but, but to take on a skill like that, it's, it, it's no mean feat, is it? Oh, God! <laughs> nice outfit. Um, yes, I think, you know, being on ice just adds that element of danger that you just didn't quite... Um, Agree. You, when you agree to it, you didn't realise how tricky it was when you're nervous and it's live. So you've got your skating live. There's no sort of pre-record or anything. So there was lots of room for um, for danger. And, um, yes, my partner, Daniel, who was just... Daniel Wiston was just this incredibly wonderful dancer who was so strong and so patient with me and so kind. We had we had so much fun together. Oh, look! Oh, wow, look at that! That's good. Well, I mean, it was it, it was wow. worth it for that shot alone. Wow, that must have been scary. Um, <laughs> That's a brilliant yeah, picture. I've got that shot on my fridge, actually. I'm laughing. I don't quite laugh. <laughs> Before we sadly have to leave Summer Bay, a lot of Emmerdale fans have been in touch saying, any chance of Louise Appleton returning? Well, not at this point. Um, and my boss is sitting right there, so I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely played. Yeah, nicely well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, it's so lovely, yeah, so lovely to you. see you, really. And it's just so nice to get a little glimpse of the diner there. So thanks oh, for I that. know. Well, yes, we're, we're always here. It's so lovely to talk to you today. And thank you for your time. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, really good thank you very you. much. Take, you care, take care of yourself. Care of yourself. And good night. Right. Sorry yes, for keeping you up. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night, of course. And we can have still watch Home and Away on the telly. Yes. Don't forget all that. It's quite aspirational, isn't it? It's a little escapism, isn't it, yes. when you watch Home and Away? Because the beach scene. Anywhere of a beach. I'm like, yeah, yes, yeah. please. That's where I am mentally so at all watching. times. Nice. Uh, right. So